I just got home from school. It's Tuesday, April 30th, I think. That tomorrow we have a day off from school because it's the first of May. Since I have a day off of school tomorrow, I'm gonna get things done. My sister is watching The Rookie right now, so I can't film in the living room, but I'm gonna edit and eat. <laughs> I'm so tired right now. It's 2 a.m. <laughs> Help. It is 2 a.m. And I had to make a thumbnail and post the video. So that's what I did. What we're going to do now is I need to get my room tidied. Because <laughs> I don't think you guys want to see the floor. Oh, I don't want the star. <sighs> you guys, it's become so bad. So I'm going to do that now, and I'm going to go because my camera is dying. So I'm going to charge it. But that's what we're going to do, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Okay, I look so freaking pale right now. It's the next day. It's the 1st of May. Unfortunately, I didn't wake up when I wanted to. I slept through my alarms. It's just a hint that my body needed the rest, so out the rest also went to sleep at three yesterday which is not normal for me these days because i've been sleeping at 10 every day for like the past two weeks which is really nice but so we need to plan some stuff in notion i'm gonna try to finish my book today also if you can hear the wind i have my windows open because it is so hot in my room i think my air conditioning stopped working because it's i'm sweating every time i wake up i'm gonna finish writing some stuff for my spanish uh, project and then I'm gonna clean the room and then I <clears throat> okay and then I'm gonna go for a run and then I need to clean out my camera roll because I'm going to tape my crayon Friday guys you don't even know I have been a tater tot since create with tape comment if you've been there since create with tape and then i need to fix my outfit for tape now i have to go upstairs and eat breakfast i'm gonna make one piece of toast or bread with egg and then one with pb and g peanut butter and jelly which is like one of the best combos in the whole entire world <laughs> But I'm gonna eat my pb and and drink my coffee and watch Destiny, I think. So, I have been watching YouTube for a little too long because I ended up watching a little bit with my sister. So I'm gonna do the dishes right now. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna put on some Taylor, the Torture Poets. I'm gonna give you guys a really controversial opinion. At first, I didn't like the album that much. Like, I liked it, but I didn't love it at all. It's grown so much on me right now. I love it. I love it. My absolute favorite is So High School. I was gonna say that my sister just did my nails, but one of them fell off, so I have to fix that. Fixed it. I just have to be really careful with these nails. My friend was supposed to do acrylics on me, but she got sick unfortunately so get well to her but r.i.p me because now i don't have acrylic nails for tape but that's fine anyways i'm gonna show you so these ones on my right hand say can you see it at all they say tate so t8 you know because tate mccray and then this one says n that's what they look like i think they're cute i'm back with an update can you see that i've been crying 10 minutes went by. It's been 10 minutes since I last film. I'm gonna have a mental breakdown. Like, this day has been so good. <sighs> I don't have nails for tape, and I'm gonna cry. Like, I can't sit still. Do you see this? You know, this is what my hands look like because I keep sitting like this. 
the, it, like it hurts when I do like this. So I, it doesn't hurt when I have nails on because I can't do it. This is so funny. Y'all are gonna be like, she's crying about nails. I know, I know. It's just like many things falling up on each other and now I'm having a mental breakdown. Hey you guys. First I'm gonna give you guys a little recap. I have not had a weekend off since Valentine's, which was in February. It's now May, you know? <laughs> which I am not going to complain about at all. Love it. Love traveling a lot, like going to different places, seeing different people. I need rest, obviously, but like doing something every weekend just makes me happy. So I have been doing amazing recently. I've not been doing bad at all, but this day has been... Mm, Really bad, started up good, ended up bad, but that's fine. No big reason for that, but just didn't feel good today. I need to post some videos. I am going to do a little, a few vlogs. I had a packed weekend. I'm gonna start by telling you guys a little bit about the Tay concert. I bought merch. I fridge and love the merch. I am in love, says Tay McRae on the back. It says, uh, thing. Can you see it? Think later. It was amazing. I had Barricade, which I'm really happy about. She is actually one of the biggest talents I've ever seen live. Her voice, her stage presence, her dancing. I won't say more than that. I miss her so much and I love her and she was absolutely amazing. And I have been waiting to see this babe for seven years, so. You know, Saturday, ceremony, blah, blah, blah. And Sunday, I woke up early, helped with food. We had a whole ass party. It was really good. Um, my song kind of went a little... Mm. So good seeing family. I love, I love my family. If there is something I'm grateful for, it is my family and friends. I, I love you guys. <laughs> if my family... Family, friends, or friends are watching this right now. I love you all very much. And I'm actually so grateful that I have the family that I have. As you saw in the clips from what I tried to record last week, I didn't have nails. But then my dad was a savior and booked a nail appointment for me. He's so nice. I love him. But got my nails done. I absolutely adore them. And... Uh, yeah, they are so bridging cute. I really want an energy drink. Holy, I want an energy drink. But I'm not gonna buy an energy drink because it's really late. So, we're gonna clean. Oh, by the way, we need to talk about the Met Gala. Who are y'all's favorites? Okay, the Met Gala was last night. I watched it, I know, I stayed up way too late. But it was so good, it was so good. So my favorite Met Gala look of all time is Blake Lively with a like bronze dress and it turns turquoise or kind of blue. Favorite ever Met Gala look. I absolutely adored Zendaya. Both of her outfits, my favorite was the blue one, but both of her outfits slayed. I loved Lana, so on theme, so good. Lewis, the story behind it, and also the fit. Harris Reed and Demi Moore, oh my God. Harris Reed, oh, I love Harris Reed. Anyways, so I also loved, loved, loved Gigi. Gigi was serving, but when is she not serving? When is Gigi Hadid not serving, you know? Madeline Klein, she did not get enough recognition. That was so good. I also loved Ari. Ari, babe. Cardi also, I know a lot of people either love or hate Cardi's dress from the Met this year. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. It was so big, such a moment. I loved it. I have my laptop with looks. Kendall, Slade, Slade. And Lil Nas X always serves. Like his Met looks are never bad. Emma, Chamberlain, oh my God, so good. Also Kylie was not on theme. What's the theme behind Kylie's? Also, what happened to Kim? I didn't like Kim's either. I'm sorry. I also did not love Lizzo's. I think Lizzo can absolutely do better. I've seen her with a lot of good fits. Usher? So good. Like with the hat and the rose and the green under the hat. At least it looks like it's green. I don't know if it was actually, but it's just so good. Taylor Russell, you guys. So good. Tyla, so beautiful. Sabrina, you guys. Sabrina and Barry Keegan. So good. I don't know how to pronounce her name, but this one was crazy good. I loved. Nikki served. Nikki served. So good. I loved. Sydney Sweeney. Oh my God. And with the black hair. Holy. I did not like Doja's at all. At all. Like, I did not like it. There was a lot of good ones, but also a lot of bad ones. But a lot of good ones. And the good ones were really good. Really good. So, slay. Yeah. Okay, you guys. 
I fell asleep yesterday. So I'm just gonna change into something comfy. I'm gonna get to tidying this room and also vacuuming and cleaning because it needs to be done. And after that, we will see what I do. But I'm gonna start cleaning, so let's change. I'm place in one direction and I'm gonna tidy and clean my room. I just finished cleaning all of this. I vacuumed everything, changed my sheets, cleaned. Everything's perfect and I'm so happy that I finally did that. I also hung up new posters in the street, sometimes on like street lamps or on like walls, construction walls maybe. There are often posters with new albums, new artists, new songs and stuff. And the day after the torture poets department came out, me and Isaac went to also city to find one of those posters so we could take it down and bring it home and we also try to find girl in red so some of them are taped to street lamps and some of them are stapled to walls you can clearly see which one was stapled to a wall and which one was taped to a street lamp because if you see this girl in red poster literally there are holes everywhere down there here 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 because it ripped when I was taking the the staples out, I guess. Just ignore the corner, but this one is in better condition because it was taped and you can see like I folded the tape in on the sides. Uh, but I really like this. It's really cute and I put my hairy one there and then I have this little signed girl in red card there that I just put. So that's what everything looks like. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. It's so much better now. This room clean out kind of thing was very much needed. But I have to tell you kind of funny story but also a kind of sad story because I think I showed you yesterday that last week I did in fact get nails and they were $85. So expensive, I know. I was going to put something in my drawers under my bed and they're really hard to get up and when I was... Trying to get them up, one of my nails broke. I literally got nails not even a week ago, six days ago, and one of them already broke. This one's the one that broke, and you can you can see here that it broke. It didn't fully break off, so it stuck together a little bit, so I just ran into my sister's room, grabbed some nail glue, and I'm just praying. I'm gonna go make dinner for me and my sister. Me and my sister ate food and I'm gonna shower and that's all I'm gonna say because my camera's dying. I was supposed to show you everything I used in the shower, but cam's dying, so I'm gonna shower now. It's half past 11. Good morning, you guys. It is the next morning. It's midday. <laughs> it's like 12, but it's fine. I'm standing in the staircase right, right now because there's a window here. I... Slept in a little bit just because I could have woken up at like 9.30 and I honestly was awake and I asked Google what the time was but then I was like, mm, I want to cozy up a little bit more so. There are some things that I want to get done today so I want to finish One of Us Is Lying, no, One of Us Is Next because I know I filmed 
the reading vlog three weeks ago, but I still haven't gotten to finishing it. So a lot of stuff had been happening, so I haven't gotten the time to actually finish that book, which is disappointing because I, my goal was to finish two books a week from that video on and out, you know? And then I need to clean out my camera roll because I have so many concert videos and my phone is completely full and I need to organize a little bit, like some documents and stuff. So I'm gonna do that. And then I wanna curl my hair because I wanna have good hair tomorrow. And if I curl it the night before, it's gonna be so good tomorrow. So I'm going on a girl's trip tomorrow. It's Friday, tomorrow, uh, to one of my friend's cabin. So I think I'm gonna do that later. And then my mom and dad are coming home in like half an hour or so right now. I'm just gonna warm up some pizza in the oven and eat some breakfast and make a coffee. <laughs> I haven't seen Louis since Sunday, so four days. And last week I didn't see him for a whole week. And it was so sad. And I missed him. <laughs> I love it. like three now I've been watching YouTube for a long time <laughs> and also my parents came home and stuff but so I've been watching Nicole Leno if you don't know who that is she, you probably do she is one of my favorite youtubers she is my favorite youtuber she has been since I was what I think I was 13 when I started watching her so turning 18 now so that's almost five years soon so I have been kind of procrastinating because I didn't want to read one of us is next like, I actually find it kind of boring. It doesn't keep me reading. So I'm going to put that aside for a bit. I don't do enough books. I'm going to finish it and just pick up a new book. I think I'm going to pick up We'll Always Have Summer and try to finish that before Sunday, maybe. Because that's the last book in the the Summer I Turn Pretty series. And I think and I pray and I hope that we're getting a season three and that she ends up with, with Conrad, please. So I want to read that before we're season three comes out. And I made a little to-do list in my to-do list book, so I'm gonna tell you what I need to do. I totally forgot that I have a Spanish project that I need to film for, so I'm gonna do that today. And also, I'm gonna do my Duolingo while you're here. Me siento muy feliz contigo, Ana. Mi madre se siente un poco cansada hoy. Got it. That was a really bad lesson. Like, I'm normally way better. 297. Don't think about the street creases, okay? Yeah, I changed my shirt to this one because this feels a little more put together and I don't feel like a trash bag. Anyways, the other things that I need to do is I need to film for this video, which I'm doing, so that's perfect. And then I need to take pictures of my bag. I'm gonna make it and make it really pretty. And then I'm gonna post pictures of it on Tindoteno and Tice, which is like apps where you can buy things secondhand from other people. I'm gonna do the same with my bedside table that I literally haven't used in a year. <laughs> you may wonder, you're not gonna have a bed, what's what's happening? I'm gonna buy a new bed, which I'm so excited about because I am buying a little bit of a bigger bed. I'm buying out Sunday. It's a 120 bed, so it's like 40 centimeters bigger. This is an 80 bed. And after that, I need to pack for my girl's trip and then I need to read a bit. Yeah, vamos. I have been procrastinating for a while and I also decided that I want to curl my hair before I do all the other filming stuff because if you look better you feel better and if you feel better you do better.
So maybe my Spanish pronunciation will be better. So I'm just gonna watch some Nicole No, my favorite gal, and curl my hair. I can give you guys a little hair tutorial. The hair I'm trying to achieve is this. This is my previous hair from when I've been doing it the way I'm gonna do it now. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna give you a little hair tutorial. First thing you're gonna need is a hairbrush and just brush your hair out. This is the one I have. I had it for a thousand years. You need a basic hairbrush. And then you need heat protection. It's really important. Anytime you use heat on your hair, use heat protection. And then you need hair spray, okay? This is so important. It will not work without this. I've tried and it does not work. And then last thing, you would maybe get a curling iron. No, you need a straightener. It takes like 40 minutes. Uh, it used to take me one and a half hour, but it doesn't anymore because I found the perfect routine, so now I know it. First thing you're gonna do is turn this on, and then you're gonna brush your hair, and then I section off my hair. So I start by my ears, and I just go straight back to get the bottom part of my hair. Put that in a little bun. And you should put it in a bun, because if you don't, you'll probably get it mixed with the other hair, which is annoying. And then you part that on the back of your neck, you part that so you have the same amount on each each side of your neck down like this and then I'll take a little hair pin clip thing put my bags out of my face and I look so funny while doing this <laughs> I'm gonna cry so heat protector I do like that much on each part because these parts are pretty small and I just do it like I'm conditioning my hair basically I have heat protector on both sides of my hair and now I take this piece that I'm gonna start with I put it behind my back this has to stay here if not you're gonna mess it up and I just start taking the pieces that are closest to my ear this is a good amount you can have more than this as well but I'm just gonna start with this one piece at a time to the front of your shoulder I guess and then I go over it one time and straighten it this is really bad for your hair it, probably but and then I turn around two times and I just start dragging it carefully and slow down my hair don't do it too quickly the curl's gonna be bad and then on the end when it's like completely on the end i twist it a little bit more and i just hold it for a few seconds take it out and then it's really important that you twist it in the same way that they curled it so it holds better and it also forms a better curl tell me that's not a perfect curl like please and then you do the same thing straighten it curl it hold it Take it out, twist, and then same over again, and on that side as well. I'm just gonna go eat dinner, and then I'll come back to you. I accidentally got my hair wet. I want to change my outfit, because if I wear something wet under here, it's not gonna work. My shirt is so dark, you can't see my hair. You have to do this. This is the step to get this to hold. Literally, when I did this on Christmas Eve on the 24th, it held from the 24th to like the 29th. So five days. So what you do, you take this and you don't, don't spray it in, okay? Don't spray it in. You go like this in your hand. It's really cold, so be aware. And before it completely dries out, you scrunch the curls you like put your curls in your hand and you scrunch them up like this i don't know if this is a normal thing to do i don't know who taught me this maybe it was my mom but it's literally magic so that's what you need to do when you're done i'm gonna do the same on this side and then i'm gonna get back to it both sides are done this side didn't go as well but it's fine i hate curling the side it's so annoying but that's fine so what you do now you put both sides back you grab an elastic or a scrunchie or whatever you have you grab all of what you just curled up <laughs> into a little ponytail what i do i take my thumb under and i twist it and then put it into a bun so that i don't get it mixed up with my next hair that i'm gonna do that's my little bun back there now and we're gonna take this down uh but we're gonna section it off again <laughs> then you take all of this hair on top do you haven't curled take all of that out just go through it a little bit so that it's not tangled put it back like this you line up your thumbs with the ends of your brows you just go straight back but you take all that hair that you just grabbed the top hair Put it into a bun again and then you part it in the back like i have like you did earlier and then you just do the exact same my camera died 
but I took my bangs out. I'm done with the rest of my hair. So basically, if you're wondering what I did to the rest of my hair, parted it, did the exact same thing on the rest of my hair besides my bangs. Now I have my bangs. Usually I put a hair roller in it, but I'm not gonna do that because I found that that doesn't really work for me, to be honest. I'll go over all of them and just straighten them and then I'll twist a little on all of them, just slowly down, hold, right? So now it all looks like that. And then I part it, and I obviously don't want it to look like this. So that's when I take it like this, and I go outwards, or away from my face. I curl it away from my face like that. I take a little bit here, I just do go like that. I just twist it a little bit backwards at one on one spot, just so it goes more like, goes into my hair, you know what I mean? Do the same thing here. And then I just go like this, I'll grab everything. I'll put my hand in front of my eyes. I'll take this. Like that. That's the top. And then I do it like that. Like this. Did you see what I did there? Like I pulled my hair back and I put... Since I finished my hair, I am going to film for my Spanish. So goodbye. I'm going to film for Spanish with my phone because my camera doesn't have any more storage. So... Listening to the bookmarked pod, looking a little not put together right now, but that's fine because I've been working all day. I started the day with coming home from a girl's trip. I had to carry four bags and a speaker for like 10 minutes, which seems not a lot, but it was a lot because the road we were walking on was so muddy and so old and it was horrible and then we got on the bus and it was fine it was a workout a real real work workout i thought i was gonna die at the end of it then i was helping my dad with digging some stuff in the garden and that took a lot out of me but it was fine it's not it wasn't that hard i literally asked if i could help like if he needed any help and he was like you can do this if you if you'd like it would be helpful and i was like yeah sure and then I went to pick up my new bed. My new bed, I actually have to take these out because I look like a three-year-old right now. Actually, I'm just gonna put them back in. But, yeah, so we went and picked up my bed. We had to carry this big-ass bed down like six stairs or something and it was kind of hard, but it was fine. It wasn't that bad. Actually, like, it's not that heavy. It was fine. And then we came home and now I have to take my whole other bed apart which i'm gonna sell which i actually sold so after that clip my camera died and i didn't film any more things after that i have a new video on the way which is kind of a continuation it's just another really random vlog i hope you enjoyed this video and i'm so sorry that i haven't posted anything since like what april or something in like one and a half month almost two months it's because I've had so many tests at school, so many assignments and exams and everything. But I have filmed when I can. I don't have anything to do before I start the next semester in August. So stay tuned for a lot of content. And I hope you liked the video and I hope I see you in my next one. Make sure to subscribe. If you stay till the end of this video, I literally love you. And yeah, hope to see you in my next one.